It's time for a Christmas project! And this time, I have a special guest. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I'm just hiding under your table. This is my buddy Bryce. I'm Bryce. Today we're gonna build ugly Christmas sweaters. While wearing reindeer noses. I'm not gonna wear this anymore, Definitely. it's starting to hurt my face. What we're gonna do now is show you guys what our plans are for what we're gonna build. So my basic idea is to take my sweater, just an old sweater that I've got, and in the middle, I'm gonna put a reindeer facing away from me with his butt right there, and then he's gonna be looking around like this, and then from the butthole, inside the shirt, I'm gonna run a little tube down out of the shirt to a little can of butane fuel, and whenever I push the nozzle on the can, it's gonna go through this tubing up to his butthole, and you can hold a lighter in front of it right here, you get your little lighter out, and you hold your flame there, and it'll It'll blow flames out of his butthole. And then across the top, farting reindeer. And then I have a bunch of Christmas lights that I'm gonna put all over here. And I have garland and ribbon that's gonna go around the sleeves like that. And some other little decorations. So I'm gonna do the farting reindeer ugly Christmas sweater. Now let's look at prices. You had to go with fire, didn't you? My sweater, if I can draw a sweater here. I have trouble with stick figures sometimes. Look at me, Ma! So for mine, I went overboard. For starters, I'm gonna do sleigh bells down the side of it. <laughs> you can hear them there, they're very loud. You know, I purposely bought the loudest sleigh bells and it might just be obnoxious and I rip them off, but we'll see. Then on the sleeves, we're gonna have LED lights that look like little candles. And then I'm running garland along here. So that'll be on the arms. And then I'm gonna do a Christmas tree with LED lights. Oh, I got a bow tie. And then I'm, I bought some of these really cool Christmas koozies, wherever they're at. And I'm gonna Velcro two koozies to hold my beers. And they'll be right there, ready on my stomach. So on my shoulders is a USB powered s snowman. Look at that, look at that cute little guy. And then, a penguin, and I'm not even gonna try to draw a penguin. This is a penguin right here. There's the penguin, and they're USB powered, so they're gonna just, the USB cord's gonna go down to my pocket where I have a power supply, and they light up. That's mine, and I tell you what, if it turns out as bad as this looks, I probably have uh, accomplished it, because it's supposed to be an ugly Christmas sweater, so. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> <laughs> could reloc, I was gonna put my beers on my stomach, I could relocate my beers to my shoulders. That takes up the whole shirt. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start with the simplest thing. I went to Five Below to pick up this, and I'm standing in line, and I see the customer in front of me that the cashier asks them, asks them if they want to donate to Toys for Tots. And I was like, oh, she's gonna ask me. And the first thing that popped in my mind was for me to respond when she's like, do you want to donate for Toys for Tots? I was gonna do like deadpan. You mean like tater tots? <laughs> <laughs> and I found it pretty funny. <laughs> And I will have to say that when it came time, I chickened out and I didn't say that. You should have. You mean tater tots? And she'd be like, no, like for kids. I'm like, well, why didn't you say that? <laughs> Bow tie, done. I gotta find a way to cut this. Scissors. Scissors. You picked the crappiest scissors I own. They look like the best scissors to Use me. the hardcore ones. They'll chop through bones. Chop. All right, let's find out. <laughs> no. All right, well, you know, they say measure twice, cut once. I say, eyeball it once, cut twice. Cut it slower, just in case. I'm kidding, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> you can set it to low or high. Okay. Low is better for this situation, unless you really want something to be stuck together like permanently, because high will like melt plastic. Yeah, we don't want to melt holes and stuff. You know how to know. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to know. <laughs> Do you know how to know? You know how to know. The best way to tell if your glue gun's hot, you take the tip of the glue gun and you stick it on your tongue. And if you ha feel intense pain, you know it's hot. That is not true. Don't do that. <laughs> My grandmother taught me that <laughs> trick. She had trouble tasting. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Now how, now, how do you know what a reindeer's butthole looks like? I looked it up. Did you? I Googled it. <laughs> Don't look at my search history. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Googled reindeer butthole. And I didn't find a whole lot of pictures of reindeer buttholes. I found a lot of other really strange stuff. <laughs> I didn't know what the back of a reindeer looked like. So I figured, who does? Why not ask Google? Santa does. He's in his sleigh staring at buttholes. <laughs> he's flying from the North Pole. Oh, oh man, Bronzer has a nice butthole. <laughs> that was me holding reins. <laughs> <laughs> he turns butter when he drives his sleigh. 
Should they be far apart or close together? <laughs> That's the question. Either way is funny, probably. <laughs> it makes him look a little more dumb. Boo. So, you know, that's the way my eyes look when I'm like letting one rip. There's my stencil. I'll just flip this horn for that side. That's where the farts come out. That's where the googly eyes go. That's where the farts come out? Yeah, right there. It's getting crafty oh. at Jairus of all. Somebody get the glitter! Put your glitter up in here! Don't move or I'll glue you. To what? Glue your butthole shut. Mm -hmm. Kinda looks like a dog. Well, it's because it doesn't have antlers yet. Oh, there we go. That changes it entirely. <laughs> Wait, is that the difference between a dog and a... Deer? Yeah, they're antlers? exactly the same animal. One just has antlers. Makes sense. So what you do, you take the hot glue gun, you take it and you put a big old, big old damn glue, put her down. Oh, wouldn't have that have been dandy? It might be dandy. It is dandy. Does it fit? It fits. Yeah, don't think you want it leaking. That's a hard no. Don't want butane leaking out in my pocket. <laughs> hey, you remember that one time Jarrah showed up at the ugly sweater party? Thought he was going to make reindeer fart. He went up in flames. <laughs> it's not funny. You want to test it? Yes. Oh! Do it again. <laughs> you make him like real juicy, like. <laughs> Why are farts so funny? I don't know. What they just are. Well, that's the problem. If you're going for distance, you can get the stream started. But then, as your bladder empties, the stream's gonna be. So we were riding in Jairus' truck earlier, and I burped. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> well, I looked at you and, oh, and I rolled the window down. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Ate too much for dinner, I think. Burp didn't taste bad, but it smelled bad. So I was like, well, if that's the case, farts smell bad. Do they taste bad? <laughs> because by that logic, they should taste good. That's bad logic. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm jelly. That means jealous. I wish I hadn't said that. It's not. Cool. Call the jelly police. Jelly police, yeah. Yeah, Jairus is super jelly. There really isn't jelly police. Glad you cleared that up for me. A normal person would just stop here with the Christmas tree. But I say go big or go home. Yeah, is that what you say? Yeah, and I don't feel like going home. <laughs> We're going big. By golly. Golly G. Bob. The golly Miss Molly. Golly G. Willikers. Oh, gee whiz. How many golly phrases are there? My favorites. Gee whiz, mister. Dear butthole. Oh, look at that. Is your brown sharpie available? It's in the brown sharp? What do you need a brown sharpie for? Well, brown's not gonna make a mark. Well, black's not gonna make a mark. What <laughs> if you don't use black? What if you have a different color? Red. Ah, silver. None of those will work. Silver, Perfect, thank silver you. or gold will work. I have those. <laughs> Is that leaving marks? Yep. Good. I don't know if it was old and dried out or not. I feel like I have glasses on, even though there's no lenses in these. Do you feel like you can see a little bit better? No, I feel like I can see worse. I keep getting closer than I normally would because mm. I feel like the glasses are in the way. It's the opposite of what glasses are supposed to do. <laughs> it's going to blow fire out of its butthole. <laughs> Simulation. Ready? <laughs> I get such a kick out of this. So what I'm going to do to make my deer's butthole blow fire out, I'm going to take this piping that I got for fish tank airline and I'm going to connect a T-fitting that I chopped one end off and hot glued and then I'm going to make a little butthole mount out of JB steel stick epoxy and I'll just mush it into it. That'll hold this in place for the b-hole. This will run down to my pocket and go on that can. Obviously these containers don't have nozzles on. I chopped the little thing off, I put the nozzle on, so now I have a button that I can press and I'll epoxy this to the button that came from a uh, some other spray can. I don't know what it was. And hold a lighter up and it'll it'll fart fire. Get it? I'm gonna hot glue more stuff to my sweater. I think I have some brown paint that I can put on the butthole actually. I know a guy. I can get you some feces. You can, <laughs> <laughs> I can hook you up with some poop. Just a little bit though. I just need like a, a, a small turd. You know what would be good? If I got little brown daubs and put them down here. Put Come little on. drops of hot glue or something, painted them brown, like yeah. little deer pellets. Poop. Oh, like actual pellets, I see, yeah. I was thinking like like a spray, like a like spray pattern. Deer don't have, <laughs> they don't. I don't think they have, they might get diarrhea. Let us know in the comments if deer have diarrhea and spray poop every now and then. I thought they just did pellets, but. Well, you yeah, have probably pellets most of the time, but If yeah. they eat too much Taco Bell. <laughs> You eat a little too much Taco Bell, they eat wrong shrub, and next thing you know... I hate it when I go to Taco Bell, I'm stuck behind a reindeer at the drive-thru. 
Should I make little butthole designs on it? I don't know what you mean by butthole designs, but... Like, try to carve it to make it look like a butthole. Got LED lights in my arm. Little LED candles. You really can't tell it's candles. You see what I'm talking about? The butthole? No, <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. You kind of like see the muscle. That's a gruesome <laughs> description, but yeah, that's... It's, uh, it's called a sphincter, I think. It's a round muscle that goes... <laughs> This is Rudolph Bleach. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's getting hard now. That's what she said. There we go. Look at that. I need some kind of brush like device. Like a brush? I need to blend. I just realized. Can't have a sharp transition between white fur and poopy butthole. I'm gonna trail them. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it'd be better. Well, the reindeer's done. Now I need to figure out what I'm gonna do next. We started running into problems on his sweater because it doesn't have, well, it's a sweater. It's getting heavy in the front. It doesn't have the structural rigidity <laughs> to hold up all the weight that's mounted inside of it. So we're going to reinforce some of his stuff with some EVA foam from the inside. I need to put the garland on my sleeves and we need to get his stuff fixed. You've got all your LED lights on and all your ornaments. Yep. Oh, and I need to fix the one googly eye. I'll show you. So you guys do this. See, he looks cute, but if I can get that eyeball to stay up, you know, like that black part up there, he looks like an idiot rather than just a cute deer, which is what I'm going for. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Do, 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 do. Let your heart be light. Wah, 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 wah. From now on, our troubles will have a Have yourself. My bells don't ring. Are you listening? Yes, I heard what you said. <laughs> Your tiny shit bells, they don't ring. Probably because they're painted like they're poop. Play bells ring. Are you listening? <laughs> Even if I don't put a beer in these, it'll still look cool. But I could put a beer. Do -de do. Pooty pooty. The light containers are inside the sweater. And it works. Very good. They're blinking together. Look at that. Look at that. And now I think I'm going to put this stocking on the back of the sweater. I don't know what else to put on the back. What's Christmas? I thought I screwed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the story behind it is that's what originally it ruined the sweater <laughs> so you like made this elaborate sweater just to cover up things <laughs> to make it look like it was part of the sweater exactly i think the back of the sweater as good if not better than the front merry poopmas stocking glued on it just looks fabulous the paint's wet i feel like i poop on my <laughs> finger it's that knee-jerk reaction you see the brown stuff on your finger and you're like ah so actually one of my greatest fears is that I'll walk out of a public restroom with like just shit up the back of my shirt and like not realize it. All right, now we need to get the shoulder men to stand up. Blast that whole thing with hot glue and then we'll glue it inside to the sweater and that'll hold the dudes up. You know what I mean? Because basically you're dispersing the load on the fabric to an area this big rather than this big, which is the size of the snowman base. So instead of having this many threads trying to hold them up on the shoulder, you now have this many threads trying to hold them up on the shoulder. We need to put the sweater on you and then chop your head off so that I have room to slide <laughs> right. in. <laughs> right. Here we go. All right. This is the moment you've all waited for. And <laughs> We're done! <laughs> Oh, 
Everything fits now that we got the foam reinforcement. Hopefully I don't catch myself on fire because that's a lot bigger flame than I thought it was going to be. Pretty big fart. We hope that this inspired you to make something this Christmas season. Maybe not necessarily an ugly sweater, but just build anything. Subscribe for more awesome stuff. Oh, and let us know in the comments if you want to see Bryce in more episodes. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>